Assalamu alaikum. Our topic today will be about gallstone disease. Gallstones are the most common biliary pathology and have been estimated to be about 10 to 15 percent of the adult population in the USA having gallstones. And they are asymptomatic in more than 80 percent. In the UK, prevalence of gallstone is estimated to be 17 percent on autopsies. Approximately 1 to 2 percent of asymptomatic patients will develop symptoms that requires removal of the gallbladder per year. And this makes cholecystectomy one of the most common operation performed in general surgery. Regarding the etiology of the gallstone, generally it is divided into three main types, either cholesterol type or pigment stone or mixed stone. In the USA and Europe, 80% are pure cholesterol or mixed stone, whereas in Asia, 80% are of pigment stone. When we say cholesterol stone or mixed stone, this means that these stones containing about 51 to up to 99% pure cholesterol. When the bile is supersaturated with cholesterol or bile acid uh, concentration are low, unstable phospholipid vesicles will be formed from which cholesterol crystals may nucleate and this is the beginning of the stone formation. The process of the gallstone formation is complex certain risk factors may be contributed to its formation like obesity, high caloric diet, certain type of medication like progesterone and estrogen containing medications which they can increase secretion of cholesterol and supersaturate the bile and increases the lithogenicity of the bile leading to nucleation of the cholesterol crystals which is crucial step in all gallstone formation. Abnormal emptying of the gallbladder may promote the aggregation of the nucleated cholesterol Second type of the gallstone are pigment stone, which is the name used for stone containing less than 30% cholesterol. This type of the stone are of two types, whether they are black or brown pigment stone. Black pigment stone, they are largely composed of insoluble bilirubin pigment polymer mixed with calcium phosphate and calcium bicarbonate. About 
20 to 30 percent of the stones are black pigment stone and the incidence is rises with aging and also in condition with hemolysis especially in hereditary spherocytosis sickle cell disease or in cases with cirrhosis second type of pigment stone is the brown pigment stone these stone containing calcium bilirubinate calcium palmitate and calcium stearate in addition to cholesterol brown pigment stone are rare in the gallbladder they are usually formed in the bile duct they are related to biliary stasis or biliary infection stone formation is related to the de conjugation of bilirubin by bacteria or by enzyme B glucuronidase insoluble and conjugated bilirubinate will precipitate and this will initiate nucleation and the beginning point for stone formation also brown pigment stone seen in patients or who have foreign bodies within biliary ducts as in stenting of biliary tree or infestation of biliary tree by parasites like clonorchis sinensis worm or ascars lambricoides clinical presentation of patient with gallstone typically the patient complain of right upper quadrant abdominal pain or epigastric pain which may radiate to the back this may be described as colicky pain more often is dull and constant pain other symptoms including dyspepsia flatulence food intolerance particularly to fats biliary colic typically present in about 25 percent of patient what we mean by biliary colic is a severe right upper quadrant pain that ebb and flows associated with nausea and vomiting pain may radiate to the back to the chest pain is usually severe may last for minutes or even several hours frequently the pain starts during the night waking the patient from sleep minor episode of the same discomfort may occur intermittently during the day dyspeptic symptoms may coexist especially maybe worse after an attack of biliary colic some patient may develop yellowish discoloration of sclera jaundice especially if the stone have been migrated from the gallbladder and obstructing the bile duct rare cases may have intestinal obstruction which is called gallstone ileus when symptoms do not resolve and progress to pain and fever with leukocytosis diagnosis of acute calculus cholecystitis should be considered so in this figure you can see natural history of the gallstone could be asymptomatic these asymptomatic patient one to two percent per year may develop colic biliary colic patient with biliary colic may go to features of acute cholecystitis 
or the asymptomatic patient goes directly to features of acute cholecystitis. Symptoms of the patient may range from acute cholecystitis to chronic cholecystitis. A long-standing gallstone for a long period of time, the patient may be liable for development of carcinoma of the gallbladder or the symptoms of bile duct stone may arise like pancreatitis or cholangitis or obstructive jaundice. So effects and complication of the gallstone could be summarized in the following way. Effect of the gallstone on the gallbladder may cause biliary colic, acute cholecystitis, chronic cholecystitis, empyema of the gallbladder, mucosal or perforation of the gallbladder. Effects of the gallstone on biliary tree may result in biliary obstruction with obstructive jaundice or acute cholangitis or acute pancreatitis. Effect of gallstone on the intestine may result in gallstone ileus or intestinal obstruction. Differential diagnosis of acute cholecystitis. Should know that the acute cholecystitis is one of the differential diagnoses of acute abdomen. So, differential diagnosis include appendicitis, perforated peptic ulcer or perforated viscous, acute pancreatitis. Uncommon differential diagnosis, acute pyelonephritis, should know uh, differential diagnosis may involve a medical disorders like myocardial infarction or pneumonia, especially right lower lobe pneumonia. To verify differential diagnosis, ultrasound scan may be need or CT scan is useful for the differentiate acute cholecystitis from other causes of acute abdomen. So, Diagnosis of gallstone start on history, physical examination with confirmatory radiological studies like transabdominal ultrasonography, radionuclide scan, and in acute phase, the patient may have right upper quadrant tenderness, which is exacerbated during inspiration by the examiner right subcostal palpation, the sign referred to as Murphy's sign. A positive Murphy's sign suggests acute inflammation and may be associated with leukocytosis, slightly elevated liver function test. Some patients may have mass, may be palpable as the omentum walls of uninflamed gallbladder. If resolution does not occur, an empyema of the gallbladder may result, which means the gallbladder filled with pus, or the gallbladder may become necrotic and perforate with the development of peritonitis. Abscess may be then perforate into the peritoneal cavity which may end with septic peritonitis. Rarely, a non-tender palpable gallbladder which results from complete obstruction of the cystic duct with the reabsorption of intraluminal bile salts and secretion of sterile mucus into the lumen of the gallbladder which will lead to the development of mucosal of the gallbladder. 
how to treat gallstone. Most authors suggest that it is safe to observe patients with asymptomatic gallstone. Cholecystectomy only being performed for those patients who may develop symptoms or complications. A term prophylactic cholecystectomy is considered in patients who have diabetes or congenital hemolytic anemia or those patients who undergo bariatric surgery. Patient with biliary colic or acute cholecystitis, cholecystectomy is the treatment of choice. So, we are starting with conservative treatment followed by cholecystectomy. Here, in more than 90% of the cases, symptoms of acute cholecystitis subside with conservative treatments, which are first nothing by mouth and intravenous fluid administration, second analgesia, whether we are using diclofenac or tramadol phosphate, third antibiotic administration. And the antibiotic broad spectrum antibiotic is effective against gram negative europes and most appropriate is cefurexime or gentamicin. Fourth, which was subsequent management when the temperature, pulse and other physical signs shows that the inflammation is subsiding or fluid are reinstalled followed by regular diets. Then put the patient on the next list for cholecystectomy. There are certain conditions in which conservative treatment should be stopped and goes directly to operative intervention. These cases include when pain and tenderness increasing and this is depending on the status of the patient. So in this condition, operative intervention and removal of the gallbladder should be performed. Otherwise, if the patient has a serious comorbid conditions, percutaneous cholecystostomy may be performed under ultrasound control. Another method of treatment of gallstone in acute cholecystitis is to arrange for routine yearly operation. Some surgeon may advocate an urgent operation as a routine measure in case of acute cholecystitis and they provide operation within the five, seven days of the attack, golden period. Surgeons should be experienced, excellent operating facilities should be available, good result may be achieved. Otherwise, conversion rate in laparoscopic cholecystectomy is five times higher in acute than in elective surgery. If early operation is not indicated, one should wait for approximately six weeks for inflammation to subside before proceed to operation. Other entities in the gallbladder, what is called empyema of the gallbladder. Here, the gallbladder is filled with pus, maybe sequelae of acute cholecystitis or a result of in mucosal become infected, treatment is drainage and later on cholecystectomy. Another entity, a calculus cholecystitis, acute and chronic inflammation of gallbladder can occur in the absence of the gallstone and give rise to a clinical picture similar 
to calculus scoliosis titis. Some patients have non-specific inflammation of the gallbladder. Others have one of cholestosis or cholecystosis. Acute acalculus cholecystitis, particularly seen in patients recovering from major surgery, coronary artery bypass, trauma, burn. These patients, the diagnosis is often missed and the mortality rate is high. Another entity for chronic inflammatory changes with hyperplasia of the gallbladder, different types of this entity are present. One is called cholestrosis or strawberry gallbladder. And here, the interior of the gallbladder, it looks like strawberry. It may be associated with cholesterol stone. Another entity called cholesterol polyposis of the gallbladder can be seen on oral cholecystography, may show us negative shadows in a functioning gallbladder. There is a well-defined polyp, could be also visualized on ultrasound. Surgery may advise for this patient only if the size is more than one centimeter of the polyps. Another entity called cystitis glandularis proliferans. This entity is a complex entity in which there is a polyps within the gallbladder, adenomyosis, and intramural diverticulosis. There is a polyp in the mucous membrane of the gallbladder with granuloma. In all layers of the gallbladder will be thickened. Sometimes incomplete septum may be formed. Intraparietal calculi may be present, and these can be complicated by intramural abscess if symptomatic should be removed the gallbladder by cholecystectomy. Another entity is diverticuli of the gallbladder wall, usually in manifest in black pigment stone, impacted in outpouching of lacunofluska. Diverticulosis of the gallbladder may be demonstrated by cholestography. A septum may also be present. Treatment usually cholecystectomy. Gallbladder also could be affected by infection like typhoid uh, infection. Typhoid gallbladder, salmonella typhi, could affect the gallbladder. It was responsible for nearly a score of epidemic of typhoid around the New York City. Occasionally, salmonella typhinurium can infect the gallbladder. Acute cholecystitis can occur, or chronic cholecystitis may develop. Gallstone may be present, so surgeons should not give the patient burn stone after their operation if there is any suspicion of typhoid infection. Should be sent for culture and sensitivity. Ampicillin and cholecystectomy is indicated in typhoid infection